Well, uh, Carl and Kapal, we're, we're so glad you made it. And if you haven't if you haven't made it yet here today, we, we hope to be able to say something something similar to that. And when you do here at the Farmer's Market, this is the Bill Yonka Show. And um, it's time for uh, the Life of Carl segment. And now, ladies, it's time for the Life of Carl. The story of one man's search for meaning and fulfillment. It is 6.45 on Saturday morning. Carl is preparing for the weekend radio show that has made him a household name in Kankakee County. He seems somewhat nervous as he approaches the star of the program, Bill Yonka. Let's listen. Uh, Bill, could I get, ask a rather personal question? Sure, Carl. You can ask me anything. Well, you know how I hate to pry. Go ahead. Well, it has to do with show prep. Well, I'm, I'm just happy you do some show prep, unlike Uncle Paul. Hey, I'm right here. Bill, I need to find out all I can about Miller Hydraulic. Could you take some time to tell me what you know so I can be a better spokesman for Miller Hydraulic? When I talk about Miller Hydraulic on the show, I, I want to sound credible. That's understandable. When you talk about Miller Hydraulic, you should mention things like they do um, hydraulic component repair. They've been in business for, well, they have 40 years of experience combined at the uh, Miller Hydraulic Service. Ronnie and the crew do field service, troubleshooting, repair, machining, welding. They, knew, they do some new cylinder manufacturing. Okay, cool they do cool. hose repair and fabrication. They have all that stuff in stock. And they, knew, uh, they do it a lot of times as you wait. Wow. You don't have to uh, go back to what you're doing. And uh, they do uh, new cylinder fabrication. They do also do hose repair. Hose repair. Did I mention hose repair? I think you did. Uh, you know, I think I've got it now, Bill. Hose repair. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie and the guys. Ronnie and the crew. While you wait. Yeah. Uh, hydraulic stuff. A 10,000 square, 10, square foot facility. 10,000 square foot facility. It's that in Mantino. Exciting. Mantino. Got to gotta say it's in Mantino. Okay. okay. So that, and Ronnie, Ronnie and the crew, and they, they, uh, they sponsor the uh, Miller Hydraulic Race Report here on the radio. Yeah, okay. I think, I think I've got it. Machining. Welding, new cylinder fabrication, hose repair, hose repair and fabrication. This has Field been service. The Life of Carl. Tune in next week when Carl says, For all your hydraulic needs, it's Miller time. Thank you very much. They're just getting a glimpse. And too bad we don't have a hose report repair today. And fabrication. Yeah, there's no report today. That's, so we're giving oh. Miller Hydraulic a little extra plug because uh, races last night rained out. Yeah, that would... Now tell me something. Okay, you're the novice race guy here. Yes. Did they, because it was actually raining, or it had rained and the track was not in condition to race? That's a oh. good question. Uh, the track was in condition to race early on in the evening, but then, as uh, cars were hot lapping. Hot lapping. Hot lapping. Okay, Are you, you familiar with the term hot lapping? Yeah, lap? you'll be there, Carl. I, I you'll used be it a there. A few times, but in a completely other context. So. Yes. So, <laughs> cars are hot lapping, and. Uh, it starts to sprinkle a little bit. Starts to rain a little harder. Back up a second, though. What is yeah. hot lapping? Oh, oh yeah, we got to explain. It's when you know you only have uh, hot chocolate, Carl, and you yeah, drink it with your tongue real fast. Yeah. Hot lapping. Like a cat. Okay, now what is it really? No. Um, it's another word. We could, you could say practice. Practice. Uh, you just wanted to on. use yeah, okay. one word. Practice. But that's but no in, in racing, we like to use a couple. Yeah. Hot lapping. Much sounds much more exciting. So as the hot lapping was going on, the races got called off because it started raining too much. The track got a little too greasy, yeah, they say. Greasy, they say the and the forecast was for more rain, I believe. Than what we actually got. Yeah, the, the thing coming at us looked pretty nasty. So the yeah. stands were full, the drivers were ready to go? No, actually the stands weren't full. People no. saw their now, weather report like everyone People the weather. You know, when it starts getting dark at 6 o'clock, yeah. start to get suspicious. You kind of know. You could. I suppose that's true. So they'll be back at it next week. We'll be back at it next week. Some more hot lapping going on. There'll be some hot lapping and... Um, so when are you coming out there, Carl, so we can point out these things to you? Yeah, one of these Fridays. We're going to say this is hot. How long does the season go? To September. Okay, well, it'll be before that. Well, don't put it off too long. No, I can't. Could get rain out. Soon. Hey, uh, Will, the market authorities here. Hey, Will, one thing I've noticed this morning is that we did have some rain last night. You noticed that? Yes. So when the, when the rain comes, sometimes I think these new, we got some nice new black, um, picnic tables that people seem to enjoy here at the market um, but they are wet so uh, maybe you, you the mark being the market authority could uh, motivate our uh, downtown ambassadors to uh, I just saw someone get wet pants. Towels. someone get wet pants and then stand up and uh, look awkward 
How many we'll uh, relieve these down. picnic tables of their uh, added humidity. Just have Let's all the guys sit on them and move two feet to the right. Take the tables on a hot lap. That'll dry them off. Yeah. Well, I think I'm just going to point out, too, I, I think I've just seen perhaps the cutest dog that I've seen here at the farmer's market so far this season. Oh. A puppy of some of some make and model that will be around this way again. Very cute. Very cute. Very good. Well, um, we'll take a quick break. We'll try, listen to some more music as the uh, morning continues. Bill is very excited that well, he's going to go for this high tech tackle this music, music situation. Again, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really excited about how all this is going. So, and we'll talk more about the uh, local foods breakfast coming up next week. When we come back here at the uh, farmers market, it's the Bill Yonka Show live on Talk AM 1320 WKAN.